How's it going everyone? Paul with Adaptable Survival. What I wanted to do in today's episode is take a look at a budget ultralight cook kit that I've been using this year. Stick with me as we get into it. So let's take a look at this budget ultralight cook system that I've been using. So the spoon, I've actually been using this for probably close to five years, if not a little bit longer, is just a Tito titanium long handle spoon. Seven bucks off of Amazon. I prefer to carry a long handle spoon for eating dehydrated meals. I don't bother putting that back in there. Now, the pot that I have here, I got this off, everything I, in this kit I got off of Amazon, so it should be pretty readily available. This is a Lexata 750 milliliter pot. Uh, this one has the butterfly handles, but also comes with a bale. There is an option to get this without the bale. I just got that for some versatility. Inside my stove is the BRS 3000T. Now this isn't some revolutionary stove. I mean, this has been on the market for quite a few years now, so nothing too, too fancy or special with it. Just a nice small titanium stove that packs down really, really compact. Got a big lighter in here, and then this pot will also hold the gas canister. Total weight on this system, about eight and a half ounces, not including the gas. So, packs down really, really small. I am gonna switch this lighter out for a mini Bic. Let me get this all set up, and we'll watch some water boil. So it's been a couple of minutes since I've taken the pot off of the stove and this is already cool to the touch. I mean, this is actually physically cold. It's about mid to high fifties today. So that's honestly why I like to carry titanium is it cools down significantly faster compared to stainless steel. Stainless steel is more durable, more budget friendly, but what I save in weight and then the gain in performance just makes sense for me personally. This pot and hopefully it'll catch it on the camera. There are graduation markers on the inside, both listed in ounces and milliliters, where it starts off about six ounces, works up to 18 ounces, works from about 200 milliliters up to about 500 or so, ballpark. Price on one of these Lixada pots, $27 on Amazon. Weight-wise, about seven ounces, I think it's 7.2. The BRS stove, uh, 17 bucks, weighs just under an ounce. And then the Tito titanium long handle spoon, seven bucks, and weighs in almost half an ounce, maybe a little bit more than that. Altogether, about eight and a half ounces, uh, super light. Um, total cost on this entire system is $51, minus the fuel, obviously, because you'll have to buy that as you consume it. 
but $51, I can get a whole one pot cook system that I can rehydrate my meals with, boil water in, you know, I can cook ramen inside this pot. So I typically carry a titanium cup as well. So I can mix my coffee in that because I don't want my coffee and let's say my ramens tasting like one or the other. Uh, I, I will be coming out with a video with a two pot system, titanium pot system that I've been messing around with as of late as well. But for $51, I can get a really light cook system, half a pound, can heat up water really quick, really quickly, cools down really quickly. This gives me a lot of different options. In the comment section down below, let me know what kind of cook systems y'all are using. I'm always looking forward to hearing your experiences out in the woods. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get some more eyes on what we're doing here at the channel. It brings those people into our community so we can learn together and grow together. As always, this has been Paul with Adaptable Survival. Adapt your mind, your body, and your gear.